As we all know, I love making crepes and they can be as simple as adding a topping such as lemon and sugar or they can be quite extravagant by using really beautiful savoury products. I'm going to be adding some smoked trout and cottage cheese. So let's get started. We need to make the basic batter for this. So I've got some plain flour and we want one cup of plain flour into a bowl just like that. We want to make a well in the centre and add a good pinch of salt. No sugar for this because they're savoury. And I love nutmeg in this, so I want a good amount of this nutmeg in there. Freshly grated if you can. Okay, two eggs. Crack them straight into the centre, just like that. Two. And all we need is a whisk and start whisking in the milk. So we'll just break up those eggs. I always do a little well in the centre and start to bring in the sides with the eggs to start with. This will just ensure that we don't get many of those lumps. So slowly whisking and then we can start adding our milk. So I've got around 350 millilitres of full fat milk here. We're looking for the consistency of pouring cream. So by the time you add all of that in there, you'll see it should be about right. So let's incorporate all of that flour there. And the last of that milk, that's the perfect amount. And you can see that's the consistency that we're looking for. So like I said, these are savoury crepes. So we need to add a few more ingredients to this. What I've got over here is French shallots. And I've just put a little bit of olive oil in there and just slowly cooked them and cooled them down. Make sure, of course, they are cool because they are going into a room temperature batter. So we'll just pop them straight in there and that'll give them a beautiful sweetness. If you can't find French shallots, of course, you can use just a Spanish onion. Just finely chop it and just cook it down until they're really, really soft. So we'll mix that into our crepes. And now for the herbs. So I've got some parsley here and I've got some chives. Love chives. You can use any soft herb for this recipe. You could use some chervil, tarragon and smoked trout work really, really well together. So whatever you've got in the garden or what you've got in the fridge will work quite nicely. So we just want to finely chop this and that's probably about a quarter of a bunch of chives for this amount of batter. Scrunch the parsley up and again finely chop that. Okay, big handful straight in there. We'll just give that a quick stir and we're ready to start cooking. That's how easy crepes are to make at home. Now I've got a crepe pan here. This is really great to have in the kitchen. Of course, it's got the low size there and it's non-stick, which means we'll make the perfect crepes every single time. About half a ladle full. Ensure that that pan is warmed up and straight to the center. And we just twirl our crepe pan around like so to get as thin as we can possibly get it. Look at that. And I love how you can see all the speckles in there of the parsley and the chives and those French shallots. Right, that just sits back on our heat there. Once it starts to detach from that low rim side, it's ready to flip. Okay, my last crepe is ready to go. Pop that on the plate. You know, usually with crepes, you love that real crispiness on the side, but because I'm rolling them, I just want them to be a little bit soft. So just get a clean tea towel and just let them steam just really slightly while we prep everything else. So look at this. I love smoked trout. And these days you can get your smoked trout from your local fishmonger. Even some supermarkets have them and of course some deli. So the best way to prepare this is to just cut under that little fin there, just like that, and just around the back, just a slit in there just to detach that skin. And you can see because it's smoked, it's so easy just to pull away like that, look at that. And then that beautiful bright orange flesh is revealed. Now I'm using smoked trout for this today, but you could use smoked salmon if you like. Of course, there's little bones in here. So when you're cutting this, again, cut just down that backbone there, straight down the center. And that should come away very easily. Just like that. Look at all that meat there, yum. So let's wrap these crepes up. I'm just going to place them on my clean board here. 
and we'll start with some cottage cheese. I love cottage cheese. It's really light, slightly creamy, and really goes well with the smoked trout and all those herbs that we've added in there. So about a tablespoon in each crepe, like that. And I'm gonna flavor it up with a little bit of lemon zest. So just a little bit of lemon zest in there, like that. Beautiful and some asparagus spears. So I've got some really nice asparagus spears, about three per crepe. These have just been briefly blanched, so they've still got a little bit of crunch to them. All we need now is some trout. So we'll just flake that on there. There's no bones at all. A little bit of cracked pepper and a drizzle of good quality extra virgin olive oil there. Wow. That looks beautiful as is. Just to wrap them, just fold it over once, twice. If you wanted, you could even serve these with some beautiful poached eggs. And if you wanted a little bit more lemon, we've got the lemon here, we'll cut that in half. We'll just add that just to the side there. And we should probably have a taste of these. So I'm just gonna take one of the crepes. I wanna show you what it looks like in the center, how beautiful it is. I'm gonna cut that on an angle. Yum. Look at that. You know what? This reminds me of tortillas. These are 10 times better than any tortilla you'll have. Crepes, it's the way to go. Mmm. Yeah. Yummy. <laughs>